this is Arlene. So um, I'm doing a video and this is a continuation of the drama that's going on where I live. Well, I feel it's drama. So anyways, um, I got an email from the um, manager and I confirmed it is apartment 58 and they're the ones that are below me because he said who it was and they lied they actually said that I had tried to uh, they had tried to uh, talk to me I don't even know who they look like but since we're on the subject of apartment 58 when I've seen a girl from two doors down, I've seen her come out of their apartment. So I thought she was visiting upstairs because there's a guy upstairs that's two apartments away. I think that's like apartment 22. Well, she lives there with him. I don't know if they're married or a couple or what. So I thought it was odd that I would see her coming out of apartment 58. So anyways, um, and so he went on, because he had offered uh, to, um, that I could, um, he would check with Yale management to see if um, I could move into another apartment that uh, had become available across the way. But I'm like, why should I move out of my place? Just because people you don't want to address the people in apartment 50 stomping and the people in apartment 58 are like liars so anyways um i read the email it was really short and i respond back to my tone i don't have the money to move again why would i pay a moving company to move me across the courtyard you know so then he emails me back and says, well, in the agreement, he says, I would have paid for everything. And then I told him the same thing. I don't have a rental agreement. Can you believe it? I've lived in my place since July of 2018. And I do not have a rental agreement. I never signed one because the guy that um, I gave my rent to and deposit, um, he went go work for uh, someone else so this other lady came and she didn't know anything so when the gate would be broken I emailed her and I told her I said you know the gate's broken I said and then she emailed me back and asked me oh do you know who I call and so then that's how I got into I emailed Yale management and I told them hey you know this lady is um um, you know, I started complaining while other people started complaining too. That's how I got a hold of him. And then I, he, come to find out, he's going through everything. He knows I don't have a rental agreement. So I checked my paperwork and I said, I thought I had one, but I don't. All I have are a copy of my money orders because at that time, the guy didn't accept anything except money orders. So I had to go get money orders for my deposit, money order for my first rent. And then after that, they took check or, you know, I created an account. So anyways, um, that happens. So I respond back. I let them know. I already told you I don't have a rental agreement. I'm supposed to sign one. Apparently, under the rental agreement, they would have paid for my move. Well, I didn't know that because I never got a rental agreement. And what he doesn't know is that I've been told by a reliable source that he's really the owner of the apartments. And he's not, and, but he's posing as a manager. Now, whether or not that is true or not, I don't know. So, um, anyways, um, I um, respond back to him and let him know. I said, 
I don't know who apartment 58 is um, and I honestly don't know who lives there you know I accept that somebody does live there because they're complaining and the only reason why I don't know who lives there because all the apartments around me especially that one people come and go there's so many different people I don't know who's who like the girl I got confused because the girl on the second floor why would she be coming out of their apartment you know so anyway and have a key because she had a key and I know she's not a manager or anything like that so um, that was very interesting so anyways um, and I let them know apartment 50 was stomping uh, after 9 p.m. because I was taking a bath and they just get in there and stomp on the tub I know why they're doing it but I'm not gonna say why so anyways um, got a response back to him since I told him I did not have um, a rental agreement you know so I don't know it's just like an ongoing drama thing you know and it all started with apartment 50 and 58 and they're lying if they say they don't know each other This guy is a weirdo or a girl. HCLX929. This one keeps right, that one right over there. Oh man, I can't. Where's my. That one right there. That is like some weirdo. It is a man. You know when they're per perverts is when they are in a higher vehicle and they ride down because I drive trucks sometimes at work. And the only thing you can see is the crowds. So that's how I know they're perverts. So anyways, getting back to my story. So I emailed him that I don't have um, a rental agreement. And so I don't know what that's going to do now. So that's my story so far with all this bullshit that's been going on. But I can't believe that apartment 58 lied to the manager and told him that they tried talking to me. That is a lie. They have not even tried talking to me. I don't even know what they look like because so many people come and go out of that apartment. For I know there could be 20 people or they're subletting him. And he doesn't know. And as far as apartment 50, they keep on stomping. And every time they stomp, I'm going to make a video about it. I haven't done my video about uh, last night, but this one doesn't count, but that's what they do, is stomp, stomp, stomp. So anyways, I got a new periscope because I'm done with this video. So it's a February the 22nd, 2018, and it's 1 p.m. So that's where I'm at right now with all the drama at our Rancho apartment. 